Hi, welcome to Passion for Plants. My name is Hannah and today I'm going to be showing you how to prepare your garden for a heat wave. So we're in California in Orange County and it's April 23rd I think and it's 90 degrees today and then it's going to be 100 degrees tomorrow. So it's extremely hot. So if I look like I'm sweating that's because I am. So um, we are getting this ready so it just looks very trashy what I have done but it's to protect my plants which is the most important thing so first things first I moved these ones that are in pots into more shade areas they'll still get enough Sun it's not like that'll be an issue for them um, these ones I'm gonna be planting so I had them back where they're gonna be to get accumulated and um, so I moved them over here so that they you know, can be in the shade. And then obviously I have my hydrangeas, those were here first. I have my blueberries here. I'm just too afraid that they're gonna get scorched and too hot. So anyways, I moved them over here into the shade. Since they're in pots, I can do that and I'll keep them watered a lot, multiple times a day probably. Okay, so the other thing that you wanna do is create shade for the plants that you can't move that aren't in pots. So basically what I do is I just put up any umbrella that I have, beach umbrellas, you know just handheld ones I took sheets from our old painting like what we used to paint so let me just warn you it looks terrible but let's go over here and see it all right so here we are in the um, area where it looks like plants are having a beach day and a fort day um, so that's what's happening so I took our old uh, painting sheets they're just old sheets that we use when we lay down when we paint so they look horrible but I just basically clipped them onto the stakes that are there for the tomatoes they're not fully covering them but they'll give them a little bit of shade um, I put a beach umbrella over there this is where I have my seedlings so I have like lettuce spinach um, just really fragile things that can get scorched really easily in a hundred degree heat and then up on top over there I have another umbrella with my avocado tree that I just planted maybe a week ago so um, I don't want it to get scorched it already has some of that on their leaves so basically that's what I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be watering these multiple times a day still just because it's gonna be a hundred and then it'll be like 90 90 you know just really really hot for the plants so that is how I prepare um, it's my beautiful garden decor is what I like to call it but I hope that all my plants make it through it so um, I hope if you guys have a heat wave coming or hot days you can use these tools to help you thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one bye